Hello developers. As a UI developer, I share the concepts and challenges I've encountered in real world projects. And today we're exploring one of the most powerful additions to modern CSS container queries. You've probably used CSS media queries. You may have even written styles using a media print or a media screen. But have you heard about container queries? Yes, in modern CSS, responsiveness is no longer tied only to screen size. Now you can apply styles based on the size of the container itself. That means your components can react to the space they're actually in, not the entire window. This opens the door to a new era of modular, intelligent, and scalable UI design. To understand it better, let's look at a real world example. We've built a responsive product card. It adjusts its layout based on the container's width, not the viewport. That's the key difference. Instead of screen-wide rules, the card defines its own rules based on its environment. Let's talk about the structure. The HTML is simple. A wrapper div that we've turned into a container, and inside it, a card layout with an image, title, description, price, and action buttons. The magic happens in CSS. First, we tell the browser that this wrapper should behave like a container. We do this by assigning it a container type. The value we use is inline size. This means track the container's width and allow us to write style rules that depend on it. Now comes the real power, the container rule. We've defined breakpoints directly inside the component. When the container is smaller than 400 pixels, the layout is vertical. The image sits on top, followed by content. Everything stacks naturally, just like a typical mobile layout. When the container becomes medium-sized, around 4 to 600 pixels, the layout switches to horizontal. We use Flexbox to place the image on the left and the content on the right. It still feels compact, but more spacious. And on larger containers, anything above 600 pixels, the layout breathes even more. We increase the padding, refine the spacing, and give the content more room to shine. The card looks modern, responsive, and refined, and all of it happens through container queries. Now, here's why this matters. With container queries, you no longer rely on screen-based media queries. You make each component self-aware. You unlock truly reusable layouts that work in any context inside grids, sidebars, modals, or carousels. And the best part? It's just native CSS. No frameworks, no JavaScript. Let's quickly recap what you learned in this video. One, how to declare a container using container type. Two, how to apply layout logic using the OS container rule. Three, how to use Flexbox and padding to adjust structure based on space. And four, how modern CSS empowers you to write scalable, intelligent UI. If this opened your eyes to what CSS can do, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to keep sharing powerful front-end concepts with you. You'll find the complete code in the description and don't miss the next video where we'll explore even deeper layout tricks using subgrid and CSS logical properties. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.